now that we understand text frames a little bit better and understand them, we can talk about editing text. So what I want to do for this movie is show you some real simple keyboard shortcuts that'll make your editing experience a lot easier. So I want to zoom into this document a little closer. I'm going to hit Control 2 on my keyboard to do that. And I'm zooming into the uh, placeholder dummy lorem ipsum uh, text that we placed in our last movie when we talked about text frames. And I'm going to grab my type tool by hitting the keyboard shortcut T. And I'm just going to place my cursor here somewhere in the first paragraph. So as you probably know, you can use the arrow keys to go from letter to letter. So if I hit the left arrow key, I can jump all the way through this word, starting with the last letter. If I hit the right arrow key, then I can go from letter to letter. But what if I want to jump from word to word? If I want to jump from word to word, I simply hold down the control key and hit the left arrow. We can see that it jumps to the front of each word. Or if I hit the right arrow... If I hold the control key and hit the up arrow, it's going to jump to the first word in the paragraph. And if I have multiple paragraphs and hit the control down arrow, it's going to jump to the first word in the next paragraph. So what if I want to highlight this text for any reason? If I hit the control shift key left arrow, then we can see that it will highlight the text as long as I'm holding down the control shift, it'll highlight as many text as I want it to. Holding down the control shift and right arrow, it will do the same thing. And if I hold down the control shift up arrow, it's going to highlight everything above where my cursor is within that paragraph. And if I, highlight, if I press control shift down arrow, it's going to highlight everything past where my marker is in the same paragraph. Now you also may know that if you double click on a word it will highlight it. If I triple click on that word it will highlight the sentence and if I quad click on a word it will highlight the entire paragraph. So now I can edit or delete if I'm coming in here. And if I hold down the control key and hit the delete key, it will delete an entire word, whatever the next word is, wherever my cursor is. So if I come and place it in the Dolorum word, hit the control delete key, we can see it's going to highlight the entire section. So what if I hit the control shift key, nothing happens. So just a real quick, easy way that you can edit text here in InDesign. So keep in mind, the more keyboard shortcuts that you get familiar with, the easier and faster and more productive you'll be.